Hey, so today's video is sponsored by a company called Duke Cannon. Smell it. Oh. Smell it. it smells pretty good. Naval supremacy. It smells really good. Smell that one. It smells good. I like the other one though. This one? Mm hmm. Cool. Between the two. This one almost smells like it's got a sweet smell. Yeah, that, that's probably like me. <clears throat> Orangey. Orange? Citrus. Oh, is it? Yeah. That okay. That's my favorite one. Accomplishment. It smells like accomplishment. It says citrus, sandalwood, and oak moss. That thick. one's my favorite. Thick. Because you know it's like me. Can guys be thick? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, like, can it be thick, like, for good, though? I, right. I think most women would be like, oh, he kind of thick. Dad bods are in. No, thick, that's not That's not a dad bod. It's just like. A dad bod is thick. No, that's not, our really is. that's not our definition of thick for a woman. I'm just saying. I mean, for you, that's fine if you feel that way. But I'm just saying, like. Mm -mm. Basically, this stuff is just designed just for guys. Stuff that makes people like me smell good when i say people like me men that do stuff that cut the grass they cut down trees that ride the dirt bikes they go hiking go fishing hunting you plow on fields you're using a tractor men like us don't really like the same thing that i don't know the pretty boy type men like that makes sense you know like i'm never going to wear calvin klein i'm never going to wear like brute Duke Cannon makes stuff that makes me smell good, makes me smell like, man, they make soaps that are made like with beer smells. Today's video is sponsored by Duke Cannon. Go check them out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description box of this video so you can buy the product that I'm talking about here in this particular video. Hey, y'all. Pond fishing time, summertime. You know, I think that's when most people start to fish ponds, start to fish small waters. And I've been doing a lot more of that myself than I normally do, obviously because everything's been going on with COVID and lockdown and so forth. I haven't been fishing the lakes quite as much as often. I've been fishing here close to the house and doing a lot of pond fishing. Well, I decided I would do a kit for you guys with probably my three most, is it three or four most faithful baits for catching fish in a pond. So I'll we'll show you exactly what I got in this deal here. I'm telling you what I like to rig it up with. What's that, my man? Huh? Boys are here in the shop with me today, but I'm gonna show you what I got in here. It basically this kit comes with a hollow belly frog. It comes with two soft plastics and it's something real tricky, real neat and sneaky. I'm gonna show you about here a little bit later. So let's look at it. Let's let's dig into it. So basically, what I've got. Let's start with the frogs. Everybody likes a frog. I've got my frogs. I actually, um, I keep these guys in my Plano box right here. This is a Plano. This is a bladed jig and um, or a chatterbait. Let's not say bladed jig, but a chatterbait box and a jig box. And I actually put my frogs in here. You can see how I got them. I just kind of keep them nice and snug in between all the dividers there. And this comes with the frog. This comes with the the new Z-Man uh, Leap Frogs 225 is what the one that I put in here. And it comes with uh, Leap Frog. What's the, what's the name of this color? Brown Leopard is the name of this color here. So. Brown leopard frog comes with uh, basically a straight six inch straight tail worm. Comes with a TRD. Of course, like I said, a little sneaky something, a little blade that I'm gonna show you how to use here later. But with the frog, we got a 225 leap frogs. Reason I put the 225 leap frogs in there. Most time when you're fishing in a pond, you got some type of aquatic vegetation, lily pads, hydrilla, some type of bank grass. There's almost always a lot of shallow water. There's almost always some overgrown, overgrown, overhanging banks with limbs, trees, and laydowns. Top water always works really good for that. Reason being, most of your fish in a pond are probably feeding on brim, some type of panfish, crappy, stuff like that. Frogs are a great imitator of brim. And when you're fishing in a water column that's a lot smaller, usually one to three foot, Top water is just a really good bait to uh, to target those fish that are in extremely shallow water. You don't hang it up, you don't have to worry about that. And they're almost always feeding up. So I decided to put the Leap Frogs 225 in that kit. And let me show you the rod that I'm rigging it on. 
So you, on your frog, I actually got one tied up here. So on your frog, you're almost always going to be using using it on straight braid. 30 to 50 pound test. I wouldn't suggest you go under 30 pound test braid when you when you're throwing a frog. And I do like a rod. You know, I know fishing the bank. A lot of times you're not going to have five or six rods in your in your carrying with you because you just you you don't have that room when you're fishing fish in the bank. So you want to use something in the seven foot, no, no shorter than seven foot, and probably no longer, when you're fishing the bank, probably no longer than like seven, three. The reason I say that is because when you're fishing the bank, typically you're trying to make short cast, you're trying to, you got overhanging limbs, you got trees, you got everything around you. You don't want to try to, uh, to use a really, really long rod. So seven foot, probably a pretty stiff action rod, uh, something like a heavy action rod and 30 pound test braid fastest reel you got it's probably going to be the best one for you so i'm using this is a 7 3 to 1 that's just a good medium ground for pond fishing because you might you're going to use this rod to throw a texas rig your frog everything on it so uh keep it pretty uh keep it pretty simple so you can do a multitude of different things with just one setup so that's my pond setup seven foot rod uh heavy action something pretty stiff 30 to 50 pound test braid you can throw this around rocks you can throw it around laydowns you can throw it any anywhere you see shade is kind of where you want to target when you're throwing your frog next thing i put in this kit was the good old straight tail worm this is just the z-man finesse worms and june bug most of the time your ponds have darker colored water it's going to be a little bit muddier so i went with june bug june bug even works pretty good when you're talking about clear water because it has like a grape purplish looking color with green flake in it so you can use it in, in clear water as well but most of the time you're going to throw a color like this in a darker water, dark water situation so straight tail worm why did i put that in there the most versatile bait you can use for just about anything anywhere to catch any bass if you told me i can only have one bait to fish for bass for the rest of my life no matter if i was in new york texas oklahoma south carolina in your backyard in a fish tank It'd be this guy right here, just a little straight tail worm. It catches fish just so, the reason being is there's so many different ways you can rig it. The best way going to, to rig it is just gonna be a Texas rig. That's, it comes through stumps, it comes through weeds, it comes through everything perfectly. You can, everybody's pretty much familiar with the Texas rig. If you are not familiar with the Texas rig, check out the link in the description box. I'll show you how I use a Texas rig. 3 16th ounce sinker. Uh, this is just a four off, offset hook and I've got it on 15 pound test line. 15 pound test is just a good size line for across the board when you're talking about fluorocarbon or mono line. That's just a good across the board for just about every technique you want to have there. Texas rig it, I can take the same worm and I can rig it wacky style. Now with Z-Man plastic, this is elastic, so you will have to put like a nail weight in it uh, to get it to sink because Z-Man plastic floats. So you can do that, or you can attach a wacky rig and just snap a little uh, a little split shot sinker over the top of it too, which is a great way to fish a wacky rig as well. That's something that we don't talk about a lot here. Maybe I'll show it to you here in this video. But rigging a uh, a wacky with the with the old school split shot is another way to fish this bait. You can take that, and then our little tricky thing that we have here in this kit, in this pond fishing kit. Have what's called the TRD spins. All right, the TRD spins is nothing but a blade that you can put in the back of your soft plastics. And so, what I can do with this, you take the little blades out of your package here, and you gonna help me with this, Brooks? Okay, you gonna help me with this? Cool thing about this guy, see the TRD spins? He's gonna take my TRDs off away from me. You see, this is it right here. This is a little Colorado blade, and it's got a keeper on it that you can use to stick inside your plastics. Well, what you can do with this is you can take the little blade and stick it in the back of your little finesse worms, or you can take your TRD that comes in this kit too. And what you've created now is basically a swimming worm. So you can put it on your Texas rig with that little blade on the back of it right there. You can see how that works with the little blade on the back. You can throw it across laydowns, you can throw it across any kind of submerged grass, anything like that, and just really slowly reel it back. Or you can keep it high under the surface and just let it come, you know, right under the surface of the water, and you can get some bites that way too. So it's something that makes your, your straight tail worm a little bit more versatile is the little TRD spins. Other thing you can do with it, 
is, of course, a TRD is a great bait to catch fish on in the pond, right? So we'll throw that, and then I'm gonna throw a Ned rig like this. I forget what this crawl, what this color is called. It's some kind of crawl, probably. Then I put, I take that, and then I put a little spinner in the back of it, like this. A little Colorado bladed spinner, but spinner. So now it's like when you want to throw a Ned rig, but you're confused and you want to throw a spinner bait too. You got that guy right there. This is the pond right here that we're gonna fish. A little small two acre pond. It's loaded with fish. Not a lot of big ones, but it's got a lot of fish in it. <laughs> Did you pull him out of there or what? Oh God. <laughs> you got off? Oh, you let him flop back down in there? No, he's a getaway bass. Getaway bass. No, getaway, not. getaway. Yeah, that's you. And no, it's not a getaway bass. That is a getaway bass. No, it's not. <laughs> he almost got away. You've seen this before. If you don't have all the other tackle you need for the Ned Rig, which is what this is mainly for, just get it out of my finesse kit and also have a Ned Rig kit on shopdelight.com too. But this works the best installing your uh, little TRD spin in the back of your uh, TRD just like that. And then you can take this guy, you can wacky rig it with that little blade in the back of it. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You want that frog? What'd you do with the other frog you had? You got it? All right, he's taking my frogs. Now, so you can take, you can also take your TRD and wacky rig this guy. It has a really unique fall Hello. with it, with a little blade in the back of it and wacky rigging it too. It's something that fish don't, don't normally see. You get a different profile, you get a different fall. So it's just a really cool way to fish a bait that's not normally meant yeah. to be for wacky rigging. So the TRD spins, Finesse worms, the finesse TRD, and you also have a frog. Those are baits that I almost always catch fish with in ponds. And the colors that you'll, you'll have working just about every different water clarity that you'll come across when you're fishing in ponds. Brev's caught a bunch of fish on, on this TRD. too. TRD. Mm -hmm. He says he's catch so many he's tired of fishing the TRD. Because I always give them to it because then they're going to catch yeah. fish. But try that. Um, the pond kit is on shopbelight.com. We've restocked with a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll tell you about. I've got an entire frog kit on there. Some of the kits that we made earlier this spring, I refilled all of those. So uh, you guys can go there to shop. I've got some apparel. I've got hats there. Everything you need with to, uh, to fish the bank with. No matter if it's a pond, it can be just bank fishing in general because bank fishing versus fishing out of a boat is a little bit different deal. You got a unique base that you can cast a long way. You need baits that you can that you can do a lot of different things with and still have one bait. So that's what you have here with the pond fishing kit. Make sure you check it out and um, maybe we should go fishing now. We're gonna catch some fish on. It looks like no. <laughs> <laughs>